You've decided you wanted to buy some investment properties. If you're in Canada or the US, the top market you should be looking at is Calgary. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why in four specific reasons. Hi, my name is Frank Presta. I'm with Frank Presta Real Estate Group. We're a top performing real estate company in Calgary with real brokerage. We are busy, we are active, and we've got buyers from across Canada and the US moving into this marketplace. And I'm gonna give you four specific reasons why you wanna focus on Calgary and a bonus at the end. So hang on to the end and make sure you watch this. So Calgary is absolutely booming right now from an investment perspective. We've got investors from Toronto, from Vancouver, from Ottawa, from Saskatchewan, from Texas, California, all over the place moving into Calgary. And here is why it's on sale right now. There's absolutely no fundamental economic reason why the average house price in Calgary is $500,000. When you look at what it, Calgary has to offer and the potential, as I mentioned, it's on sale and the astute investors are rushing into this market. So why should you invest in Calgary? Number one, everybody talks about cash flow. Cash flow is critical. So what is happening to rental rates in Calgary? Number one, they're up about 35% year over year. And my expectation based on the projections is that's going to continue and even accelerate. There is a shortage of good rental properties in Calgary. People are competing. They're lining up to get into these properties and you are getting the best of the best. They're signing one, two, three year leases and your cash flow is phenomenal. The second reason why you want to look at Calgary is you look at the landlord and tenant laws. They're very favorable for investors. Certain provinces and states in the U.S. really favor tenants. There's requirements in terms of how much you're allowed to raise the rents. There's specific requirements about what you're able to do. Alberta and Calgary specifically is very pro investor focused. There is no limit how much you can increase the rent. There are no requirements around that as long as you follow the specific rules. So in Calgary, for example, let's say you've got a condo downtown and you're renting it for $2,000. I just mentioned rates are up 30%, 35%. So you're going to look at that and you say, okay, I'm going to raise the rent to $2,700. Can you do that? Absolutely. You can do that in Calgary. Of course, you have to follow the rules. If there's a lease in place, you have to honor that lease. You have to give notice and all those sorts of things. But when the time comes and you follow those rules, you can raise that rent to whatever the market will bear. Some people say, hey, that's not fair. That's tough on the tenants. I'll tell you what, it works both ways. When the market actually goes down because Calgary is very cyclical, the tenants get an incredible deal. So when the market changes in the other way, of course that changes as well. So that's reason number two why you should be investing in Calgary. Reason number three why you should be investing in Calgary is you need to look at the long-term economic fundamentals. Is this a short-term phenomenon or is this a long-term phenomenon? When you buy an investment property, you have to have a minimum of a five-year time horizon. And the reason I say that is you've gone in, you've put your down payment down, you've set up your mortgage, which you want because it's tax deductible and you've got everything in place. For that investment to really pay off for you, never mind the appreciation because you can't control that, what you need is about five years of mortgage pay down to make those numbers start to make sense. So you buy a property, it generates positive cash flow. Every year you're increasing those rental rates right now at an incredible 30 to 35% and you're paying down that mortgage. After five years, because you're going to go in and lock in for a five-year mortgage, you're going to have a tremendous amount of mortgage pay down and you've built yourself that equity. I would recommend don't sell that property at that time, but what you're going to do is you're going to refinance that property, pull out that original deposit that you had and buy yourself another one. And then you're off to the game and building your empire. So the third thing I want to talk to you about is I mentioned the economic fundamentals, but let's talk about appreciation. Usually I say, don't worry about appreciation because it's just a bonus. But right now you absolutely do need to look at appreciation. If you've got a hundred thousand dollars to invest in a property, I would say invest invest in Calgary. Take that $100,000, buy a $400,000 property, you got a $300,000 mortgage. And as the market continues to grow, and here's my prediction for the springtime, spring is going to be incredibly busy. We've got a shortage of inventory right now. Things are building. People are moving to Calgary in droves. Places like Ontario and BC are seeing strong pricing decreases. They're seeing a lot of pressure. So people are coming to Calgary. That's only going to grow with the short inventory and prices are going to shoot up. So if you're going to buy here in the next two two, three, four months, you are going to see a 20, 30, 40, 50% uplift on your property heading into next year. That is not including the mortgage pay down that you're going to get. So in five years, you can thank me at that point. And the last thing that I want to talk to you about, which is perhaps in my opinion, the most important is when you're buying that property in Calgary, you need to hire an agent 
that is gonna show you exactly where to buy. There's specific things that you need to be looking for. Number one, of course, are the numbers on the property. You wanna make sure that that property cash flows and it makes sense. You don't wanna buy a suite that's grandfathered in, as they say, or an illegal suite, or unless you have a strategy in place to convert that illegal suite into a legal suite, and I can help you with that in another video. But you wanna buy a property that is gonna generate all the cash flow that you want in a secure and safe manner, so that the bank and your insurance company and your investors, if you're bringing in others, are all comfortable and safe. And then here's some tricks. You wanna buy a property that's gonna be in an area that's gonna see some additional appreciation. So what you're gonna be looking for is you're gonna be looking for areas that are gonna be getting new infrastructure, whether that's roads, whether that's post secondary schools, whether that's amenities, commercials, you, you want to be reviewing the building development documents. You want to be reviewing what's happening in that neighborhood, what's changing, what zoning requirements are changing that are going to uplift your property. And then the last thing I love to do, um, sure there's a strategy about buying brand new, nice, clean properties and renting them from top dollar, but why not buy a property that you can improve upon a little bit? Buy a property at a discount, even in this very affordable marketplace, and and improve that property very easily and then you can maximize your your cash flow and maximize your investment on that property all right if you like that content reach out to me we have an entire investment team at the frank Presta real estate group this is our specialty i started buying properties when i was 19 years old and by the time i was 26 i had a multi-million dollar portfolio i've made all the mistakes i've made some good moves as well but if you want to learn from me and get an honest answer on where your money should go reach out to me because i've done it all Take care.